Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mega Man Sex 4, Sex Side Story. In the last episode, we took care of the jungle and the bio lab. So who are we going to get next? Cyberspace. So let's head on into cyberspace. Squash the bug. He lives in cyberspace and wants to destroy the network system. It's... Cyber Penis Cock. Yeah, of course, as soon as I start recording, the cat wants out. Well, you're just gonna have to wait. Ready. Yeah, of course I'm ready. Anyways, get your soul body ready. We only have eight shots of it, so do using it sparingly if possible. Anyways, as soon as you enter that, hurry up. Yeah. Soul body will destroy those orbs. No! We're getting fucked. As if you're quick enough before it says hurry up and goes away, you'll get an S rank. We need to get these so we can get the three items here, which starts out to be a heart tank. So what's the next one going to be? Well, let's get into the thing and let's dash on through. Hurry up. This one's the easiest. Just get out soul body and just do this. That's it. And with that, we get an S rank. Steel rank. Yay. Alrighty, our next prize is an energy tank. Nice. What an energy tank does will fill all your health. You need to get you need to get HP refilling units when your life is full to fill it up the fastest. Alrighty, onwards we go. There's only one more stage left in this area. There is one more time. Let's hurry up. I try not to get hit. We only got four uses left. Let's see if we can do this. Ah, we fallied. Come on, we didn't get captured, so there's still hope. Two left. Go, X, go. And did we do it? Yes, we did. S rank achieved. Though it's not the hardest thing in the world to get, but it's still pretty tense. And what's this? Our final prize is the helmet upgrade. I'm giving you a new head module, X. This module will improve your special weapon's abilities. It should reduce your special weapon energy requirements to near zero. You may now use your special weapons as often as you want. That's not broken at all. So let's step on in the capsule and get our new t shiny toy. Awesome. And with that, now our weapons have unlimited energy unless you charge them charge your weapons, they'll still take energy to use, but we can't do that right now. Anyways, let's rush on to Area 2 of Cyberspace. Ready. Of course I am, I'm always ready. Had a f just a rather frantic day of work today. We had one of the higher ups in. So everyone was like really busy to, you know, please the higher up because they weren't happy. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Tammy telling them bullcrap. I don't know if we can make a passage without getting hit. Of course, we do it there. Fuck logic, we didn't get damaged. No. Okay, we got hit there, but at least we avoided the worst attack. Alright, what you want to do here is let this roll all the way to the right. Push the button. Wait. Push the button and huzzah, we solved the easy puzzle. Alright guys, you know what time it is. You remember what happened in the fourth the, the, the episode was zero. Let's go down a trip of memory lane. His potential is limitless? Not possible. Who are, who are you? Who are you? Why are you doing this? To me. I was ordered to test your abilities. It's quite simple. What? Prepare yourself, and we get to fight Cyber Penis Cock. Alright, buddy, it's time to shut you down. Your operating system's out of date. Error. You got a virus. Oh, you ran away. Here, here's your virus. Hey, there you go. Adware. Ransomware. Death. Ding. 
bum 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 bum. Oh, I'm so sorry. Your operating system sucks. Vista was better. XP is king. You are dead. Awesome. With that, we got aiming laser, as it says. Move the cursor to lock on to enemies. Attacks the enemies with the aiming laser. Yeah, very... Uh, whatever. Let's save here, just in case. Let us continue. We're not done yet. We're going to do another Maverick, because that was a rather short place. So, who are we taking on next? We're taking on the Air Force of Repliforce. And who might that be? Well, let's let the announcer do his thing. He left with the Space Fortress to conquer the air. It is... Storm Owl! Storm Owl. So let's rush on to Area 1 of the Air Force. Ready. As I'll ever be. Awesome. Alright, this is actually not a tough stage, and I like it. There's plenty of platforming, lots of fun enemies to kill. Or you can completely ignore them, it's up to you. And we also get to com uh, use a mech. Hold your shot button to charge it. You cannot move while charging unless you hover. So what you want to do is get a pie, hover, and then just start spamming charge shots and moving. Ah, I messed that up. There's nothing above us, if I'm correct. I think it's just a ladder to save you from that mech. Alright, let's keep swimming. Now when you get here, let go and hurry up, cuz, heart piece. If you wait too long, the Independence Day ship will shoot it down. Alright, let's blast you out of the air, because X is king. Yeah, that's right, you got nothing. It's a really fun level, because you're pretty much destroying their battalions, their air force. You're like this one-man army badass ma maverick hunter. Who just wrecking their day. It's a lot of fun. Alright, just keep blasting through. Don't worry about your mech getting smashed. This is a really easy section. Alright, just rush on through. We're at the end now. Blast two. And huzzah. Area one is complete. Now on to, words to area two. And probably the most infamous area in this game. Why is that? Well, you'll find out in just a minute. Alright, raise a charge shot. And get this gate here just into view and destroy it. Ready, another charge shot, and then BAM! Watch out for those laser tunes, dudes. You shoot out a laser, that kinda hurts. Ooh, that was way too close. Alright, what we want to do is get out our web spider, and you'll notice above us... Yeah, there's something up there. Also, look at that horrible looping in the background. Get about right here. Do this, dash, jump, jump, and there you go. Works every time. Now we're going to ignore that capsule, but it's going to talk to us anyways. You can charge up to four blasts at a time with this arm module. It takes a while to charge, but you can fire a charge shot at any time you so wish with it. This arm module is also changeable, and to this capsule to change parts. I don't care for that one. I want this one, the one everyone else chooses. With this arm part, you can fire the plasma shot, which is effective against stronger enemies. If this, the shot hits the opponent, plasma gen it is generated, which will cause additional damage to the enemy. This arm module is changeable, blah blah blah. So let's jump on in. Now this arm part has a different color. The other one goes with this armor more, but this one doesn't so much. But it is the better of the two. Ah, do we have to talk to him? I don't want to talk to him. Oh. Ah, blah 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 blah. Thankfully we can skip dialogue. Also, with the arm part, we can now charge our weapon. Jump down, hover, and there you go. Alright, let's ready a charge shot, and let's head on to the right. Because we got a mini-boss. With... a uh, core? I don't know. And shoot! Nice! And shoot! Because that lingering damage will do massive damage to this thing. 
And shoot. Sweet. All right, if you somehow got really damaged, you can get this full health restore. Sadly, that won't fully fill our tank up. All right, let's get out our Twily laser and let's go to the left. Yeah, we get a nice purple scheme. I love it. Almost a starlight glimmer scheme, in a sense, her hair color. Now that I think about it. Oh, there, boy, did you really need to stomp? It's like the people here who slammed the door. How dare you destroy my unit? You'll pay with this for your life. You'll pay with... Uh, you get the point. We'll pay with our life. Yeah, screw you. There's what I think of you. And you thought Zero had a tough time... Easy time with this boss? No. X does. Come here, boy. Yeah, you're getting zapped. Ah! Spiders. Alright, come here. Yeah, not much to say. We're just cheesing the crap out of them. And you're dead. Alrighty, with that storm, I was dead. So what's our prize? Yeah, yeah. We get. Come on, announcer, tell us what it is. You got double cyclone. What is double cyclone? You may ask. Well, fires vacuum cyclones left and right. Most effective when surrounded by the enemies and against skyborne enemies. Ah, ooh, ee. All right, now, before we call it an episode, there's one last thing we gotta do. Sir, it's a message from the Colonel. Uh-oh. X, I'll wait for you at Memorial Hall. Make sure you show up on time. Sir, this must be a trap. Perhaps, but I won't run this time. And unlike Zero, this isn't a cutscene. This is actually a boss battle. And this one can be rather difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Otherwise, it's a very slow fight. So head to the right and let's get this cutscene and battle going. Colonel, stop this foolishness now! Never! If I would have just listened in the first place, this all could have been avoided. Colonel, please think this over. Don't be so fucking stupid! The Repl Force must be independent. Our battle will determine this. Oh my god. Whatever, we don't have to move I'll from this spot no to mercy. win. No. I'm gonna fast forward, this is a really slow fight, so what you wanna do is wait, normally he's supposed to charge you first, whatever. Just jump, hover, and just wait here until he backs away, and when he starts firing his, uh, air slashes at you, whatever, when he shoots his energy waves at you, you can start firing back at him twice. His weakness is, uh, something we don't have. If you wanna know what it is, you get it from the ice stage. If you shoot her early, he'll block your shots. Ah, uh, this is such a slow fight. Yes, Captain. Much nuts. It's pretty much jump, hover, shoot, repeat. So, let's get this battle on the road. I think Nurse Dash just finished her game. I'm not sure. And yeah, come on, Captain Colonel. Come on, Colonel Crunch. Much basket. Oh, I shot too early. I just dragged this out fast, or longer. So, this will all be fast forwarded for you. And Luigi doesn't think how long this is taking. You need to hurry up and shut the fuck up. Die. Eat some dick. Luigi shoots you with Sebastian. I like how X is hovering. He's like, bitch. The pose he makes when he's hovering, like, you got nothing on me, bitch. Like, X is something with that girly voice. Joke aside, he isn't something to be messed with. X is very powerful. Especially with this plasma shot. Why do you think they carried it over to the fifth game? Ah, I shot too early, but still, if you're lucky, he'll still do that attack and you can still bash away at him. Also, don't let that sword hit you. It does hurt. To be fair. Alright, how can we go? And blast away slowly at his health. Oh, he did minor damage to us. Boo hoo. X just might cry. And... Though to be fair, X has one of the funniest death cries I've ever heard in a game. It made me laugh when I was test playing to get the plasma shot right. That jump, I was practicing to get it, you know, perfected. It's really not a hard jump as you saw. Just do what I did. Do as I do. Do as I say. Alright, just two more shots and he'll be defeated. And look how long this is taking. The music is actually looped. By the way, the Sega Saturn version loops properly. And that's it. Impressive, but the result won't be the same next time. Until then. Colonel, you dumbass! With that absolutely pointless fight aside, we're going to call it an episode. So what awaits us next time? We'll find out who we're going to fight next time on Let's Play Mega Man X4.